Hello and thanks for joining us for another Molly Motorsports Piston Tech presentation. Today we're going to look at how to measure piston dome or dish volume and cylinder head chamber cc's. Both are important numbers for compression ratio calculations. Both can typically be found in the piston or cylinder head manufacturer's published specifications, but in some cases where it isn't known if modifications have been made or for those that haven't seen the process, we're going to show you how it's done. To start out with, um, here's a sample, a uh, couple of samples of pistons. We've got a flat top, a dome, and then a direct injection dish piston from an OE manufacturer. A lot of times when you're wanting to upgrade from the OE manufacturer's piston, you'll have to measure the OE sample to figure out your compression ratio. In order to do so, you need some tools. Um, here we have a glass plate with a hole drilled into it, um, a piece of acetate with a, a dome milled into it, um, then we have a burette, a graduated burette, which you can accurately uh, deliver the fluid to measure the pistons, then you use to do so, you use isopropyl rubbing alcohol rather than water because the surface tension of alcohol is much less than water, so it'll flow into all the cracks and crevices of a, a dish or a dome. And to seal the plates to the piston, you use Vaseline. The procedure for measuring the volume of a flat top or a dish piston is the same, and that's what we're going to illustrate here. The first step in, uh, in measurement is to apply a thin layer of your sealant to the compression height of your piston around the area that you want to measure the volume. After you have your sealant applied, then you apply your flat plate with the hole in it and press down firmly to seal the plate to the piston. The next thing we're going to do is bring in our burette and uh, align it over the hole in our plate to pour our piston. So we've got everything aligned. and We take the measurement on the burette to start because when we get done, we'll subtract the end measurement on the burette. To accurately determine the difference between when you start pouring and when you stop pouring, you've got to measure the volume or the, the fluid level from the meniscus, which is the concave bottom of the fluid top. And, and then you start pouring. So we'll turn this on and uh, you can see the fluid going down, filling up the chamber. Sometimes when you're pouring a piston, you'll get bubbles that are away from where you're pouring at the hole. In this case, you would use the piston and the assembly like a bubble level, and you'll kind of rock it around and move the, the bubbles over to the hole where you're pouring, and that way you can pour the whole thing and get an accurate measurement. The procedure for measuring the volume of a chamber in a cylinder head is very similar to that of measuring the volume in a piston. The first thing you do is put in your spark plug and if you have a direct injection injector and then if your head is assembled with valve springs and everything your valves will be sealed. In this case they're loose. And the first thing you do is lightly seal your valve with your Vaseline or whatever you're using okay. and install it in the head lightly press to make sure that your sealing uh, compound has seated and you do all the valves the same way. Then the procedure is basically like we did with the piston. We apply our glass plate. We apply our sealant around the chamber, then apply our glass plate, then we pour and measure. To measure the volume of the dome and or valve pockets in a dome piston, the procedure is a little bit different. Uh, you'll have to install the piston 
on the rods and the crank in the block and there are two different ways of doing that. The first way is to run the dome piston down the hole and measure the depth in the hole of the piston compression height and then install your flat plate and seal and pour as usual. The second way is to bring the dome piston all the way up to TDC and measure the how far it is in the hole as well and then you install a dedicated tool such as the Moroso acrylic plate dome tool and pour as usual as well. Measuring the piston dome volume on a typical block there's a potential for error. Uh, for a typical 4030 bore piston uh, the potential for error is about two tenths of a cc. Also the piston might rock in the bore 10 to 15 thousandths and this can result in about two to three cc's worth of error. In this video we've seen how to measure the uh, volume in dish, flat top, and dome pistons and also in cylinder heads. It's not a very difficult process but it does require uh, a user to be careful and to be neat in order to be accurate. Thanks for watching and be sure and follow us on Facebook and YouTube for more informative videos.